You know, if you're struggling with a porn addiction or if you've been trying to quit porn and remove it out of your life for any length of time, then I can guarantee you that there's been points in your life when you've caught yourself looking at pornography, you've caught yourself seeking it and returning back, despite not wanting to, despite having told yourself, maybe earlier that day, or even the day before, or even weeks before, that you're done with this, that you're fed up and you're sick and tired and you're never gonna return back to it. I wanna talk to you about why that is the case. Why do you do the things that you say you don't wanna do? Why do you return back to pornography? Why do you even consume some types of pornography that don't align with who you are. Brother, what we must understand is that our addiction is driving us to do things that are outside of our own control sometimes. And this is all coming from our subconscious programming, our subconscious belief system, because it is in fact our belief system that drives our actions, how we see ourselves, how we view ourselves, how we think about ourselves when we're not fully aware, not fully in control of these thoughts is gonna dictate the little actions, the little habits, the little behaviors that we take on a daily basis. You know, addiction is defined as the continued or repeated use of substance and or behavior despite negative consequences to self and or others. And it's that repeated use of a substance despite the negative consequences that's repeating to ourselves that is causing this destructive pattern in our life. And I can tell you because I've spoken with thousands of men over the last three years that so many of you are struggling with the lack of belief, the lack of self-confidence and actually believing that you can in fact transcend this addiction, that you can in fact overcome something that you've been struggling with for maybe five years, maybe 10 years, maybe 20 years. You know, our subconscious mind, it operates at 11 million data points per second, while our conscious mind operates at only 40. But all this means is that it's an 11 million to 40 ratio that is dictating our actions, that is dictating our habits, that is dictating what we do on a daily basis from the subconscious, us not fully being in full control to the conscious of us having 100% control. So if somewhere living deep inside of us is a doubt, if somewhere living in deep inside of us is a lack of belief that we will one day fully overcome this pornography addiction, then brother, I'm gonna guarantee to you that you will one day find a way to self-sabotage yourself. Because the goal of your subconscious mind is to make your reality match your beliefs. So if you believe yourself to be an addict, if you believe yourself to being the person that is never going to be fully able to overcome this, if you believe the person, if you believe yourself to be the person that needs pornography because you have strange fetishes, that needs pornography because you have a high sex drive, then somewhere down the road, even if you, be, even if you want to quit, even if you tell yourself every single day that I want to overcome this pornography addiction, if resting inside of that subconscious is any ounce of doubt, is any ounce of lack of belief in who you are and what you can achieve, then brother, you will at some point find yourself when you're tired, when it's late at night, when you're stressed, when you're intoxicated, and maybe some of your willpower and decision-making processes have been brought down. So that's why you're returning back to pornography, because I'm probably going to guarantee you, you don't actually believe that you're ever going to fully be able to overcome and break this addiction. And this sits at the center of 90% of the work that we do with the men here. You know, I believe my greatest strength is the ability to lift people out of the holes that they are in. I did this for a decade plus as a bodybuilding and online coach. I've done this in my entrepreneurship coaching journey as well, where we help uh, online business owners launch and scale their businesses in the changing of identity, the building up of belief systems sits at the core of what all the work that we do at rebuilt recovery, because I believe in order to overcome your pornography addiction for good, you must become the man that is no longer addicted to porn. And in that word become lies new belief systems, new thought patterns, new ways that we show up, new values, principles, new habits, new ways of living, new training principles, new mindsets, new beliefs, all of that is resting inside of that word become. So if you're struggling with a pornography addiction, stop looking for the tactic, stop looking for the strategy, stop looking for if I go 30 days without, I will reset and reboot my brain. Yes, there is some truth to that, but get to the core of it. Begin to change your belief systems, begin to change how you see yourself, Begin to change the way that you look at yourself as actually being able to become the person that no longer needs pornography in his life. I believe that's a proper approach. 
is by starting in our mind first, building the confidence, building the belief systems that we can in fact overcome and transcend this, and then living that out daily by the actions, the habits, the values and principles that we live our life by. Now, brother, if you want some help in doing this, what we've done is we've written a free book. It's called The Seven Step Guide to Living Life Without Porn. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link it down there in the uh, first pinned comment below. But if you just go to this page, the book will be yours absolutely free. And we've helped over 4,000 men over the last three years begin to take back control of their life by starting upstairs with the belief system, but then providing a, tact uh, a, a tactical strategy of how to walk this out every single day. So check it out there in the first pinned comment below. It's the seven step guide to living life without porn. My coach Frank at Rebuild Recover. I love you guys. We'll see you in the next one.